G'day. Earlier this week, there was a great announcement by IBM and Google and the folks over at Lyft and, and a few other parties about Istio. Um, and if you go to istio.io, uh, you can learn a little bit more about Istio. But what I wanted to show you was just a, having it up and running on Kubernetes really quickly. So if, if you didn't hear about the announcement, Istio is a lightweight microservices platform that allows you to secure, have policy, manage, and connect your microservices. And it's completely open and it runs on Kubernetes. So what I want to do is show you a quick demo, uh, just going through the docs here online, um, and we'll get it up and running and we'll see if we can show you some value with it. So I'm going to pop over here to uh, my console right now. Okay, and over here I have actually written up a Helm chart. So uh, if you're interested, it's still in PR. It's against the upstream Kubernetes charts repo PR 1158. So you can pull that down and, and follow along with me. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just a Helm install. Actually, I'll show you what I've got here, kubectl version. I actually have a, a 1.6 cluster running on uh, Azure here and 164 server and client. Okay, so we're going to do a Helm install and from dot, because I've checked this out locally, this will install all the components. Now down here in the bottom window, you'll see all the uh, Istio components coming up and running. Okay, I'll just expand that. Let's take a look at what the status is. So we're almost there. This is the whole bunch of components. Uh, the Helm chart uh, allows MTLS out of the box. So we've got a CA here for provision cert, so putting that down, um, an egress, um, ingress, manager, mixer, and some add-on services, Prometheus, Service Graph, Sipkin, and Grafana. So these are all actually up and running. Fantastic. Now I'm going to go back over and deploy the um, book info app. So if you want to follow along at home, if you go to the docs samples, after you've installed uh, Ist Istio here, you can install with their steps too. They're equally as good. The Helm chart's just a single command. And go to the book info. This is exactly what I'm going to be doing, which is going to deploy this app so we can see some value here. So I'm going to take this command here and go ahead and run the install. Sure. Okay. That'll install. We'll see that there are a bunch of new pods coming up here. This is actually uh, a microservice application just to prove out what's going on here. And they're all up and running right now. And finally, what I'm going to do actually, so let's see, kubectl get service. What we should see, and I do actually have a, an external IP here, so what I'm going to do here is actually hit the ingress service and the ingress service, kubectl get in, okay, is going to push that back. If I describe this, describe. Fantastic, it's going to push it back to this service on the back end called product page. So I'm going to try and hit this via the ingress to prove out a whole workflow. Me coming in as a user, going through the ingress and hitting that microservice, this uh, book info um, service I just deployed. So what we've done so far is we've deployed Istio and deployed the book info service on top of Istio. And now I'm going to show you how uh, a user might access it. Pop back over here. Okay, so I'm going to grab, what I'm going to do is make this big again, actually. What I want to do is grab that service IP. I had the, the demo one in there. We'll go ahead and update that. And we'll put it in here. There we go. So just so we can run a curl here and start proving out some value. And I'm going to curl this, and I should actually get a 200 back. Fantastic. So let's generate some traffic against that. So while true, do the curl, um, sleep one, done. So that'll actually just go through. We'll generate some traffic. Now, while that gen traffic's being generated in the background, we'll pop back over to the status, and we'll, we'll see some traffic here. So I'm just going to run a uh, cube cuddle and actually go and port forward through to the Grafana dashboard that is coupled. Okay, on port 3000. So that's happened there. And I'm going to show you um, the service graph as well. Okay, so I should be able to go to 
this in my browser okay so we can see the traffic coming in here product page there's two or three different versions um, and the reviews and ratings there so if you want to see the exact architecture here's what we're laying out um, but this is being generated on the fly here I'll pop back over and just grab my uh, Grafana dashboard URL and we'll, we'll see so there should be a whole bunch of information in here you can see me spinning up we can see uh, request volume um, source and destination version so there's a whole pol rich policy engine inside Istio where I can um, do canary releases, enforce policy, fault injection testing. There's a lot of exciting features in there that I haven't had a chance to play with yet. I just wanted to show you how easy it was to get something up, uh, up and running on Kubernetes here. Um, so we can see all the information coming in, and this is all being generated from that while loop uh, going through that ingress and hitting that backend book info. So if you want to get connected, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter or you can uh, take a look at that Helm chart yourself or follow the directions. But I wanted to get you excited about Istio and kind of the value. We, we put down a, a microservice without any knowledge of Istio and Istio goes and actually inserts, injects in uh, Envoy proxies and, and publishes that information onto the surface fabric. So there's a really cool, lightweight story to get something up and running. So. Um, thanks for joining. I hope this was exciting. Um, and let me know if you have any questions. Cheers.